Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton back on the campaign trail today. She spoke with reporters on the way to a rally in North Carolina. She says that her doctor gave her a gift by ordering three days of rest to recover from pneumonia. Clinton says she spent time playing with her dogs, talking to old friends, and thinking about the future of the United States. Well, Republican nominee Donald Trump focused on economic issues during a New York speech today. He promised to eliminate regulations that protect rivers and streams and to get rid of food safety inspectors. Trump also said he wants to scrap EPA regulations limiting carbon emissions from power plants. He says the money saved would help to pay for his $4 trillion tax cut proposal. And as the time until Election Day winds down, the race has gotten closer in many places. Yeah, we've actually just received the results of a new presidential poll looking at the numbers right here in Georgia. Fox 5 political analyst Matt Towery is here now with the results. Yes, well, <laughs> here we are. As predicted, this thing's going to go back and forth. Donald Trump is now leading in Georgia. He has a four-point lead. This is our latest Opinion Savvy poll. By the way, Opinion Savvy, who polls for us here and around the country, the other Fox affiliates, is rated number three by Bloomberg of all national pollsters, so they know what they're doing. They have Trump leading right now. Hillary Clinton is still on the hunt, of course, and Georgia is still considered up for grabs. But at the moment, Donald Trump is leading in Georgia again. Well, uh, Matt, why is that? I mean, Trump is not only on the rise here in Georgia, but in places like Ohio, down in Florida. He's closing the gap in other states as well. What do you attribute his rise in the polls to? Well, I mean, it's a series of things. Hillary Clinton has not had uh, the best of weeks these last few weeks, obviously, the WikiLeaks situation. Then, of course, the uh, situation about the deplorables, which she wanted to explain, but she couldn't really because she was sick. And now, of course, the collapse, which she has recovered from. And I think she looks very good today. I have to tell you, I think she came back strong. So I, I, don't, I don't count either one of these candidates out because we got three debates and it's mm -hmm. going to be like Rocky one, two and three. Mm -hmm. This thing's not going to be over till it's over. But for the moment, Donald Trump is about where our Republicans should be in Georgia for the moment. And he's doing well in Georgia with black voters. It seems that those numbers have increased tremendously. Yeah, let me tell you what's interesting about this. Yeah. Okay, so every time I poll, and even in years years ago when I used to run campaigns and was a candidate, we'd all we see the Republican get 20, 30 percent of the African American vote and think, wow, this is going to be a real game changer. And then it melts down to 10 and 7 and 5. The question is whether Donald Trump, who has now gained African American support because of his outreach on TV and the like, is he going to be able to hold on to it? If he holds on just to a little bit more than Mitt Romney, or John McCain, it can make the difference in this election. All right, let's talk about the down ballot races, mm -hmm. specifically the big one here in Georgia, our own Senator Johnny Isaacson running for re-election. Right. He has a comfortable lead in your poll out now over his Democratic challenger. He does. He's at 47%. He's not at that magic 50%, which he'll need to avoid a runoff. The interesting thing is that we know that Jim Barksdale is apparently going to spend millions of dollars on TV, and it's going to start very soon. Now, right now, nobody knows who Jim Barksdale is. But once they know him, these numbers will narrow a bit. So Isaacson, while he would still be the favorite to win, I would expect him to win if he doesn't keep staying in the game, staying on TV and campaigning very rigorously, then that's a situation that could slip into a runoff. Hmm. I don't think it will, but it's in the hands of Johnny Isaacson and his campaign team. They need to be out there advertising. All right. All campaigns need to be out there at this point. We're just a yeah. week or so away from the first presidential Absolutely. debate. Absolutely. And it's the hottest busy. race will ever, I promise you, the hottest political race we'll ever see. Wow. All right. Thank Can't you wait. so much, Matt. <laughs> All, right. All right, Matt, thanks.